Well, let me explain what just happened in that video. Uh, the video just stopped on me in the middle of my recording because my computer ran out of memory. Um, so I just took several minutes and rearranged some things. So I'm good to go now. So I'm just going to pick it up where we left off in example part A. We just did uh, the majority of the work getting here to x equals 1. And we're ready to move on. So we're going to very quickly be able to find the value of y. We're going to take this value of x do back substitution and we've got the choice into either of these two equations here doesn't seem like one is better than the other so i'm going to take one and just plug it in to that first equation back sub our x value to find y so let's say four times one minus y equals one back subbing into that first equation again well that means four minus y equals one and well wouldn't it have to be 4 minus 3? So y equals 3. Okay. Hey, we're doing really good. We've got x. We've got y. Once we have two of the values, now we need to go back and get z as well. We're going to do another back substitution. This time, and oh gosh, these shadows. We need to go all the way back to the original equations and so if you wrote those down, the original three equations, we've got our choice. We can plug x equals 1 and y equals 3 into any one of those to find z. I'm going to pick the first equation because that is by far the simplest. x plus y minus z equals 6. Plugging in 1 and 3. We're going to wrap this up pretty quick. 1 plus 3 minus z equals 6. That's 4 minus z equals 6. Subtract the 4. Multiply both sides by a negative, and z equals negative 2. Okay, let me pull this up. Try and get it up out of the shadow. Uh, there we go. Back substituting right there for 1 and 3, and eventually get to z equals negative 2. All right, at that point, we're going to write our solution. Um, this time it's an ordered triple. So we've got x, comma, y, comma, z, 1, 3, negative 2 inside parentheses. Now, we have the solution. I think we can feel pretty confident in that. Um, however, mistakes happen, and we might have easily made uh, some kind of a small error in all of our work. There was a lot of steps. There was a lot of adding. There were negatives going on. So easy to make one small step, misstep, and then everything from that point where you made your error would be wrong, obviously. So... Uh, I'm going to recommend, let's check our answer. It's very easy to do. You just need a calculator. You probably wouldn't even write anything. I'll especially recommend this on a test. Please check your answers when you are doing your test. What does that look like? So we're going to take our solution, what we're pretty sure is our solution, 1, 3, negative 2. We're going to plug that value of x, y, and z into all three original equations. Okay, remember a solution are the values of x, y, and z that make all of your equations true. So here, that would mean plug x, y, and z back into that first equation. x plus y minus z was supposed to equal 6. So I'll put in x, y, and I'll subtract, right? Subtract z, so subtract negative 2. Is that really true? 1 plus 3 minus negative 2? Well, yeah, because that's 1 plus 3 plus 2. That would give us 6. Okay, so far so good. But don't stop there. Plug those values into the second equation. 3x minus 2y plus z equals negative 5. So 3 times 1 minus 2 times 3 plus negative 2. Does that really equal negative 5? Hey, you don't even have to write this. Just grab a calculator and confirm that it works. But yeah, that'd be 3 minus 6, negative 3, negative 3, plus negative 2 is negative 5. So far, so good. Don't stop there. I've seen it many, many times. I've even done it myself where two of the equations work, but the third one doesn't just the way the error happened. I've made that mistake myself and then caught it. 
Um, the last equation was x plus 3y minus 2z equals 14. 1 plus 3 times 3 minus 2 times negative 2. Does that really give 14? Well, that's 1 plus 9 is 10 plus 4. Yeah, that's 14. And now, no doubt about it, this is our solution right here. And we can feel 100% confident because we checked it. No question that that's the solution. Okay, we're going to stop this example here. This was a short video just to finish that one. Uh, we're going to do um, another example. It's going to look a little different in the next video.